Two Notes just released a new product called the Opus. It's basically a replacement and an upgrade from the Cab M. I'm just going to do a quick run through of the product today. I'm not going to go through every single feature. First of all, I'm borrowing this from Motor City Guitar, so I can't download the app to my computer and show you all the stuff on the app because it'll register it to this product, and I can't do that because I'm borrowing it. So I'm going to use the mobile app and uh, just make some adjustments on it for you. And this is from a metal guy's perspective. I want to see if it does metal pretty well. So uh, the tones that you heard in the opening song on the video were the initial tones that I dialed in. I didn't use the app or anything like that. I used the unit itself, which by the way is very easy to use, very intuitive. So I didn't have to read any manuals or anything. It was very easy to figure out. And I just dialed some things in really quick with it. And the tone I used was the Nifty 50, I guess is like a 5150 tone. And it's actually pretty good. Uh, now, I'll be honest with you, my first impressions of it without using the app, it was a little thin and a little brittle for me. And uh, that's the tone that I used in that opening track there. It, it's, it's usable. It's decent. But there was some enhancing that I wanted to do with it that I didn't see that I could do on the unit itself. Again, there's a lot of options on the unit, but the app is really the, the lifeblood to this unit here. So if you're going to get this unit, make sure you use the app with it because you can really enhance things and make them sound a lot better or a lot more to your taste by using the app. So after I recorded all of this stuff and shot the, the opening video, I, um, I reached out to Justin from Two Notes and he said that I can use the mobile app uh, without registering it to the product and uh, I can make the adjustments then. So that's what I'm doing now. And I have to uh, tip my hat to Two Notes. Uh, this app is amazing. It's really good. I'm used to their app because I use it for the, uh, the Rev Mark III, you know, their technologies in that. And it's a great app, but with this, it's even more, there's more features because you're, you're getting amp models with this. And that's the one of the biggest difference between this and the Cab M is that you get amp models in this. And uh, you also do not get the load box in this. You, you have a pass through if you want to run it to a load box and use the IRs or the cab sims in this unit. Um, but uh, it will not handle the load, so make sure that you, that you remember that. So again, at first I, I was, you know, the, the tones were usable, but I wasn't really like, oh, these are amazing. But once I used the app, I found that I could dial things in a lot better. There's an EQ and an enhancer and stuff like that, which I know you can use on the unit itself, but it's just easier with the app. So this is where we're at on the Nifty 50 right now. And, oh, uh, I want to remember to tell you this too. I changed the mics, and that was one of the biggest things that helped me out. Uh, because the mics that they had on the initial preset are decent, but they're just not my, to my taste. I like the Royer 121, so I added that and uh, all that. So I didn't see how you could add the mics and change the mics on the unit itself, but you could definitely do it in the app. So uh, you can change the power amp tubes. I mean, you can change the contour and the depth on the power amp. Um, you know, so you can go to pentode or triode. I mean, there's all kinds of really cool things that this app allows you to do. Uh, and I, I just, I really think they knocked it out of the park with the app. It's really good. So let's hear this preset with the Nifty 50 right now. And I'll do some enhancements for it. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I can't show you because it's on my phone. But uh, let's just hear what it sounds like right now. <laughs> Okay, it sounds pretty good, but there's some things that are um, needing to be changed as far as I'm concerned. First of all, you do have a noise gate. Here it is off. Here it is on. So that's cool. It's nice to have a noise gate. So let's make some changes here, and uh, I'll tell you kind of what I did. So the EQ and the enhancer are both on right now. So I'm going to first start with turning the enhancer off and see what, what I get there. Yeah, I prefer it with the enhancer off, or at least the settings on the enhancer weren't really working for me, so I just turned it off. So let's mess around with the EQ. 
Okay, with some quick adjustments on the unit, uh, on the EQ, it, it actually sounds better to me. Let's go ahead and shut the EQ off while I'm playing and turn it back on and see how that sounds. Yep, sounds better with it on. Uh, I turned it off, then back on again. Um, so, yeah, I just, you know, messed around with the 6K and the 2K, brought the 120 down a little bit, and I got the 2K and 6K right around uh, just past noon, and it just sounds, uh, sounds a lot better to me. So it's nice to be able to do that. Uh, so let's go back to the other page. So right now I'm using, uh, let's see here, a... Uh, 421. Let's mess around with the mics and see what we can get here. Okay, so I went through a couple mics. You could dual mic the, the cabs here. I got a, looks like a Mesa cab up here, 412 with uh, vintage 30s. And I went with the Ribbon 121 and the Dynamic 57, and that's kind of my go-to. That's what I use here. And it just sounds more familiar to me, and it's what I like. And I have the distance a little further away on the 57, so let's mess around with that real quick. Again, sorry, I wish I could show you all this stuff, but I can't use the computer app because it'll register it to the product. Okay, so yeah, I got them both right up on the uh, on the grill cloth now, and it sounds good. So yeah, I think it's a, it's a handy piece of gear. I really do. I think it's handy, um, and I think that uh, since it allows you to load in your own impulse responses, I would prefer my own. Everybody likes their own stuff, you know. Everybody likes their certain impulse responses, and I think the ones that are in here are, are decent, but I prefer using my own impulse responses you know I just think it's, it sounds better to my taste anyways but it's nice that they give you some cabs they give you some mics they allow you to uh, dial things in uh, the way you want you could pair mics together so depending on your taste you might like that or you might like your own impulse responses so I just like the fact that they give you options so you can use either well, I do like this unit. I think they did a great job, especially on the app. And again, if you get this unit and you really want to dial things into your taste, use the app. You can really fine tune things. And if it still doesn't work for you, then get some impulse responses that you're familiar with, you know, your favorites, and put them in here and see if that helps you out. Because really, that's what makes the biggest difference in your guitar tone is, is getting the right speaker cabinet or right impulse response or whatever. That's what's going to really make things work for you as far as sound and feel, believe it or not. So is this going to replace every, every piece of gear that you have? No, I don't think it was meant to. Uh, is it going to kick a bunch of pedals off your pedal board? Probably not. Um, but I think it's a great backup unit for traveling. 
and uh, it's small, fits in your backpack, it almost fits in your freaking pocket, you know. <laughs> and uh, I think they did a great job with it, and it's got tons of ins and outs. I mean, I put all that in the video, in the pictures there, and check that out again if you want. And uh, I think the sound and feel are pretty good on it, especially considering the price. I think they're going for about $299. So they're actually pretty decent uh, units for the price, and they do offer a lot of features. Um, and uh, like I said, it's not going to replace every, every single piece of gear that you have, but it's a great option for you if you're traveling or if you know you want to you write some, some music with it really quick and it's just easy to set up. I mean, that's nice. Uh, if you want to take your amp with you on stage and then run it through this and send an impulse response to the front of house, uh, I mean, there's so many options for you. You know, it, there's, there's a lot of flexibility with this product. So depending on what types of needs that you have, this can fulfill a lot of them for you at a really affordable price. So if you like what you saw here in the video, uh, there's an affiliate link to Motor City Guitar. You can order one on that link and it helps me out and it also helps you out because you get a great deal on an awesome piece of gear. And it helps out Motor City Guitar because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do this video for you guys. And I think they deserve the business because of that. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And to all my subscribers and Patreon supporters, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified every Every time I come out with a new episode or go live. And if you want to get some awesome guitar tones for yourself, if you play Tonex, Quad Cortex, or Kemper, go to my website linked below, ToneWars.com, and get some awesome presets and capture packs for yourself, and you're going to love these. I specialize in making brutal metal tones for you guys on those units, along with some glorious cleans as well. Well, I got a lot of great stuff coming up for you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.